Paul, affectionately known by all as PG, was my older brother. There was 12 years difference between us. And so, of course, when we were growing up, we were like people from two different families. When I went to kindergarten, he went off to college. And I remember so vividly when he came back when, it must have been a Christmas time, and I was in the lobby at the hotel at the top of the stairs, and he walked into the lobby with this huge, huge teddy bear for me. And then when I was in college, uh, he was home on leave from the service. He was in charge of the officer's mess at uh, Fort Dix. And he decided that instead of sending the hotel driver to pick me up, he would come up and pick me up. And I can't begin to tell you how excited I was and how impressed all my girlfriends at college were that my brother, who was in the service, came to pick me up. He was wonderful at the hotel. He loved the sports. He loved the golf. And the sports casters and the uh, ball players really and truly came to Grossinger's and just loved sitting and chatting with Paul. They'd come up to his office and schmooze, or they would get together in the bar and have a few beers or whatever. And uh, I remember when my sister-in-law Bunny gave a beautiful, beautiful party in honor of Paul's 60th birthday. And Mickey Mantle was one of the invited guests. But he had a game to play that day. And he did arrive, and uh, somebody said to him, Mickey, didn't you have a game today? He said, yeah. He said, well, how did you get here in time? He says, it was easy. I made a situation, and the ref put me out, and I came up. And uh, that's what he did to be with Paul. As you, many of you know, Eddie Fisher was discovered at Grossinger's. And after uh, Eddie Cantor put him on the road, he had a big, big show uh, sponsored by Coca-Cola. Now, Paul and Bunny and their two boys, who must have been three and a half, one and a half, or something like that, were on a road trip. And they were, David and I were living in Key West, Florida. And they were coming down to visit us. And that was before the highway was four lane. It was a two way, one north and one south. And Paul is now driving, and the kids are crying, and they want to rest up, and they want something to eat, and they want something to drink. And Paul sees this stop across the highway from him. He starts to turn to go into the driveway across the other, the, uh, they were going south, and the northbound trip and he crashes in to this huge Coca-Cola delivery truck with I don't know how many thousands of bottles of Coke. And the driver gets out, and Paul is so flustered, and all he can say to the guy is, I'm sorry, I know Eddie Fisher. I'm sorry, I know Eddie Fisher. Well, the fellow didn't know who Eddie Fisher was. And the next thing we knew, the police were there. and. <coughs> They took him to the prison, to jail, in Key West. And David had to go, and he bailed Paul out of jail. Otherwise, he would have had to sit there until God knows how long. And he and my dad went to a ball game together. And my dad was always nudging Paul. You got to lose weight. You don't have to eat this, so forth and so on. And Paul saw a friend of his who was a bookie, and he raises his hand and he goes like this, peanuts, peanuts. Well, my father thinks that he's asking the vendor, and this bookie's name was Peanuts. So that's always been a family, family story. But Paul was such a vital part of Grossinger's, and uh, he was a very dedicated Cornellian. And when people would drive from Ithaca, down to New York or down to the southern part of New York State. They, most of them came on Route 17. And they all, many, many, especially the hotelies, stopped and chatted with Paul, had a coffee, had a lunch, whatever. 
And uh, he enjoyed it. In fact, he was very friendly with one of the Heisman Trophy uh, winners, a young man by the name of, I believe it was Ed Marinaro. And he was just a charming, charming fellow and stopped by many, many times. So it was very pleasant having my brother as my brother, my business partner, and my friend. We miss you.